In this video, I want to give you three tips that will help you with your chat GPT uh, conversations, let's say, right? So um, we're kind of used to using Google a lot and then we uh, simply ask for information from Google, but ChatGPT works in a completely different way. And there are a few different techniques um, that allow us to get more value and more information for uh, from ChatGPT than from Google. Okay, so in this video, I want to go over three quick tips that allow you to uh, personalize your experience with ChatGPT in a much better way than you would with a regular search engine. Okay, so let me give you an example of what I mean. So I have here ChatGPT, right? The interface, I have model 4.0, so 4 Omni, the latest one. And let's say I'm going to Paris for a few days and I wanna find out some information about the city and where I can go, what I can see, what I can visit. So I could say something like, um, what can I visit in Paris, France? Okay, so that is my question. I'm gonna get um, a list of landmarks that I can visit while I'm in the city, right? So although that is really good, um, this doesn't give me a lot of information, okay? And it's not really personalized to my requirements. So I'm gonna go there for, let's say three days, and I want to kind of get more information about what I can do for each of these landmarks. So the first tip I have for you is, you can give uh, ChatGPT a particular role. Okay, so a role is a persona that the uh, system will play. And based on that persona, it will kind of change the answers that it gives you to um, kind of work both with the persona and the requirements that you have. So in this particular case, let's say I want to give ChatGPT the persona of a tour guide that knows a, a lot about France and pa uh, Paris in particular. So I could say something like this. I could say, you are a very knowledgeable French tour guide. Your expertise is in designing tours for people that allow them to experience a city fully. You provide answers with enthusiasm and detail. What should I visit in Paris, France? And if I run that, hopefully I will get a list of more information uh, for each of these uh, kind of destinations or tourist sites that I want to see. So for instance, we have classic Paris, we have art and history, hidden gems. So you can see that already it's a bit more personalized. It's a bit more kind of tour guidey uh, from somebody who might know a lot more information about the city than we do. And that is really, really useful. So here, is, uh, in addition, we have some tips down below that uh, allow us to kind of navigate the city a little bit better. So that's the kind of the first tip. Um, give your chat GPT a persona, uh, a role that it can play that is um, useful um, to your query, right? To your requirements. Now, the second tip I have for you is that in ChatGPT in general, uh, more is usually better, right? So the more information, the more detail you give it about your situation and about what you are looking for, the better the result is going to be. So in addition to giving my ChatGPT a persona, I have here a simple question. Why should I, what should I visit in France? But in addition to that, I could say something a bit more detailed. So the first part here you see is exactly the same. The second part is more detailed. So say I am visiting Paris, France for three days and I would like to go on a tour of the city. I like a mix of monuments, tourist attractions, and to experience how people live these days in the city. Design a tour for me. So here I go into a lot more detail about what I want. So I want a tour. I want mix of museums, tourist destinations, and um, everyday experiences, right? And you can, of course, personalize this. So for example, let's say you don't like museums, but you do like to go on cafes and chill in the park. You can specify that very clearly. So if I leave that as it is, um, I will get a lot more personalized information about myself. So ChatGPT will actually design the tour for me with the persona that I have given it. Um, to kind of uh, fit all of this into three days that I had, that I told it I have in Paris. Okay, so here we have, on the first day, we have the Eiffel Tower and the Champs-Élysées. We have lunch, afternoon, so we get all this information, right? It's quite quick, but I think my Wi-Fi is a bit uh, bad here, so it's slowing down a bit. But in any case, you can see a lot of detail, a lot of information um, here for the tour that we get. 
All right, I'm gonna let it go through that to generate the response. And in the meantime, I'm going to go over my third tip. And that is to provide examples and templates for your ChatGPT. So what you want to do here is you want ChatGPT to give you a personalized response, but in the format that you prefer. So let me give you an example of what I mean to kind of illustrate this better. So let's say I have here a new chat and I have written this prompt. Can you write an email for me to my colleague Dan about missing the deadline to deliver the quarterly reports? Write the email to be similar to the following example. So let's first try it without the example and see what we get. Okay. And this should be kind of a generic uh, apology email where I haven't reached the deadline and so on, so on and blah, blah, blah. And um, yeah, all that information. But this is not really personalized in the way that I would like it to be, right? So the way I would like it to be is I would like to have this example. So I say, um, following this example, but add more detail. So I have here, hi, Dan. I hope this email finds you well, a bit of, you know, uh, corporate jargon. Uh, I wanted to discuss the recent project delay. Unfortunately, we missed the deadline due to unforeseen issues. Let's plan a meeting to address the next steps. Okay, so this is kind of more um, the way I write my emails. I don't say I'm sorry for missing the deadline. I say I'm quite proactive. So let's say uh, let's find a way to solve the problem, right? So in this situation, ChatGPT will kind of follow that structure, right? I wanted to address the recent delay, I understand the importance, let's discuss the next steps and so on. So already you can see that this is a lot better than the previous one where the previous email was very apologetic. I'm sorry, please give me more time. Um, this one is more, okay, This there's a delay here, let's address the problem and let's uh, correct the issue, find the next steps and so on and so forth. So that's my uh, third tip for you, give ChatGPT examples and templates uh, for your responses. And you can give many examples if you want. So let's say you want um, ChatGPT to create some poetry for you, give it two or three examples of poems that you like, or um, you know, a blog article, give it a couple of blog articles, uh, for it to kind of know what you're looking for. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.